Pussy boy. Oh my gosh, honestly. I'm just chilling. I've already been in the pool, but now I'm just relaxing because it's so hot outside. I'm trying to think of what to eat, whether to go to the market. Let's go to the beach. There's so many things that I want to do on this holiday, but I'm also just want, I also just want to relax. And What's that? Yeah, oh, let's start listening to some music. Let me show you guys around. A little chilling section here, and obviously inside we've got the kitchen and the lounge. Let's go outside. market in Senegambia so the craft market literally sells anything you can think of like fabrics um, bags shirts clothes um, beads miniature sculptures large sculptures baskets like everything that you can think of uh, that's like handmade look at this it's pink with beads so I actually bought two of these for the twins they're gonna love it Go in there, for example. Um, 
on to buy a bag and they were telling me, oh, it's 1,500 Dallas. When I tell you like, that's like tourist price, it's so expensive. So whenever you go to the markets, you never take the first price, like you should never take the first price. You must always haggle, 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 haggle. I'm throwing hints, <laughs> catch them. For myself, look at that print. The same thing in purple and blue. Tie-dye is very common, like we use tie-dye sheets for tablecloths, for dresses, like that's standard as part of our culture. So when I see a dress like this, this honestly it just always remind me of home when I'm wearing it. So my aunt speaks Wolof and that's that's the only thing that I sort of regret growing up that I didn't learn how to speak Wolof. My aunt came with me to the market and she was able to speak Wolof and haggle with these aunties. You know these aunties are really trying to bump us in it. So she helped me get these dresses. I think she paid like 400 dollars This is just for you. Yeah, I see you. I see you. <laughs> also got loads of other sort of shell beads. These are quite cute. But I just thought I would show you a few of our lovely findings today in the market.
Wanna go say hello? Go say hello. No, don't do that. <laughs> Go say hello. Liad, <laughs> don't scare them. Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Saturday. Sunday. Oh. Sunday, so we gotta run. Like, like when you're in when you're on holiday and you're in the tropics and it's this hot, you actually forget what day it is. Trust. You actually forget. Because um, it's like the whole New Year vibe as exactly, well. So it's, it's like, like New Year's, Christmas, that time between Christmas and New Year's is like you actually forget what day it is. Literally. So yeah. It's Sunday, happy Sunday guys. Sunday. So what it's are we doing? Girls, say hi. 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 Hi, hi. Where's little Arike? Where's little Arike? Hi, say hi. Hello, baby. Yeah. <laughs> little family venture today. You don't know what day it is, you don't know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I, that's I, the whole so point I can't find of being on holiday in paradise. It's supposed to just forget everything, forget all your worries, forget the time, forget. I know, but it's like I, I still need to know the time of the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to know what day it is, so like, I don't miss my flight back home. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you, know I mean? like, you wake up like, hold on, I don't miss my flight. So oh, that's that's a travel insurance there for it. We're still out on the beach, so we can have a look here. Uh, where we're staying at the moment is literally like a five minutes walk from the beach, so we're always here. It's just absolutely lovely. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy our last few days of us being out here. Um, see what we can do. The girls, they can enjoy themselves. I think I, I really want the girls to collect some shells. That's what I used to do in my childhood. Uh, in We're gonna set up you on an aeroplane. Okay. And what did the plane do? Go in the clouds. Go in the clouds. And Go fly. Up. Up, up. And land. And land in London. And what did you do on holiday? Some fish fingers at yeah. the beach. At the beach? Where's the beach? Can you see the beach? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, this is the beach. Uh, yeah. Who did you see on holiday? Uh, think our arms just here. After this, thank you from Rocky. Huh? Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Fresh orange juice. Good morning. So today is our last, technically our last day in this house. Um, and it's about 7.30. We watched the sunrise this morning. It was absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But now we have to go and make this frantic dash <laughs> to the COVID test center. Um, and like, just maybe see if we can speed up these results because we're actually flying out tonight. Um, we tried to go to the test center yesterday and it was closed because like, even though everyone want, runs on like Gambian time, they start really early um, and then close because it was bank holiday. So yeah, today we're gonna just rush to try and get our COVID test because we have to test before we leave the country and then obviously when we get back, we still have to do our day two. 
Um, so yeah, it's been a very, very early morning, but I guess we're ready to start the day and see how we can just enjoy our last couple of hours here in Gambia. at the Gambian Tourism Board. I really don't know whether to laugh or to cry. <laughs> so basically, somebody cut the cable. So there's no internet, there's no mobile data, there's no, basically like everything sort of that is connected to the internet is out, which means they can't process our COVID test, they can't find the code that we've, the reference number that we've used to pay for the COVID test, like all of it. Basically everyone that has come here today to get their COVID test is <laughs> basically pissed. Um, but we're, more, we're even more pissed because we're supposed to be flying out today and where the results are meant to take 24 hours and we were hoping to speed it up. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to do, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we're just gonna wait and I don't know how long the internet is gonna be out for. Either way, I'm just hoping that maybe they'll write us a letter so that we can just get on this plane because I'm we're carrying what, three kids. Like, you can't be out here stranded in Gambia. Although that would be nice, to be honest. I think what's frustrating me the most is that, you know, Gambia is basically up and coming. Um, to be honest, Africa in general, you would hope that they would be able to develop themselves better. You know, but the fact that we're out here struggling, that the whole country now is down, you know, without internet because somebody decided to go cut the cable, like that's it's it's honestly like you would hope that things would improve in countries like this. You know, because it's not just us getting our COVID test today. Think about it, like people can't go to work, people can't go to the bank to take out cash because there's no internet. Like, you know, people can't do their work, people can't top up their credit cool people like there's so many things that are tied down to this and i don't know whether it's a protester that's decided to go cut the cable i don't know if it's uh, a thief that wants to go and sell the cable wire i don't know but either way like it's, it's 2022 and i'm just hoping for bigger and better things in, in africa in general so boy. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. Have a good Friday. You guys excited to go? Yeah! Alright! Mommy, what do you have recording? The recording? Uh, yeah. The cattle? Mm -hmm. That walk along the road as if you're not in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 